I probably won't be at 100% today because I'm feeling a bit sick. I mean, I woke up like somewhere around 4 a.m. in the morning because I was cold as hell. My fucking father had to turn off the heat because he was, you know, very hot. Yeah, 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 sure. You're hot in the middle of winter. But anyway, I need to make a video about this blog. Now, it's called, what's it called again? 10 Reasons Why Homosexual Marriage is Harmful and Must Be Opposed. Let me put this over here. Okay, you, you, you think to yourself that this is just another ordinary blog and, you know, it's, it's made by some dumbass Christian uh, homophobic moron who lives in his basement all day doing nothing but read the freaking Bible. But here's the thing. This isn't some random guy. This really isn't. No, 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 no. This is actually a school. TFP Student Action. That's what it's called. Not only... You know, I mean... Excuse me. Again, I'm not at 100%. I'm a bit sick. <clears throat> but... At any normal circumstances, this would be removed if it was made by one random Christian who believes that homosexuality is wrong. This is completely hateful, but this is a school that supports this shit. They even have a freaking YouTube page. Don't believe me? Check out this video. Guy said, be fruitful and multiply. How are you multiplying if you're a... I'm not saying a bad word, but it says homosexual. If you're a homosexual, it's wrong. Seek help. It's like a drug condition. It's just wrong. Get help. There's help to, there's help to be got. People, it really is. It's about Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. If God wanted it to be that way, he would have made Adam and Steve or two females. He didn't. People, he made man and took the ribs and made woman as his support, as his comforter, as his everything. Okay. Not the other way around. People, come on. It's simple. It's simple. And you're confusing the kids, which is wrong. My nine-year-old stepdaughter saw this on TV the other day and was like, oh, so it's okay? And it's wrong. You're sending the wrong message to the kids. They can tell the kids that it's okay for a guy to kiss a guy, but they, t they can tell the kid that it's not okay for them to say, God bless America. Like, does anyone else not see the problem with that? Like, a guy, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. And you hear the kids? You hear the kids? It's about the kids. How do you expect to keep a country running, a nation running, a world running, if you're teaching the kids that it's okay to be... I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, it's actually upsetting if you think about it. The more you think about it, like, okay, look, you get, you get gay parades. Many women have been getting married since the beginning of the time. Going through the hardships that life throws us. We have nothing to honor that. Nothing at all, not a day, not an event, nothing. Like, can we get some equal rights? So much equality, can we get some equal rights for being straight? Can we get, can we get a medal or something? I mean, like, guys have been married for the same girl for 54 years, 54, what, that's a lifetime. He didn't get anything for that. Nothing at all, but yet you want to give these guys a parade for, I don't get it, <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it, it's disturbing. All one right. man, one man, it's not gonna work. All right, God bless Sorry. you. God bless. You're damn right I'm gonna share this with my friends because this is a goddamn bigoted video. I mean, this guy, this guy, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. this guy is a total moron. I mean, a, a, a straight rights? Wait, 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 what do you say, up? You know, equal rights for straight people? That, that's, that itself is goddamn stupid. 
Anyway, the video is in the description. Click it, dislike it as much as you want, because <laughs> this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. This is a fucking school, not some random blogger. Oh, dear Lord. This is going to be a lot more painful than it has to be. And I'm already in pain. It's already painful just, you know, sitting down, looking at this shit. <sighs> okay. So, I'm going to do do it in the same style of PewDiePie, Markiplier, whatever. You know, rather than just taking small snippets of each part, I'm just going to do it in, in one shot. That's it. Okay, so, this is... What's it called again? Ten reasons why homosexual marriage is harmful and must be opposed. Ugh. Let's begin. Okay, here it is. Ten reasons why homosexual marriage is harmful and must be opposed. And before I begin, uh, the video I just showed you has over 130 likes and only 77 dislikes. So... I guess these people, you know, these people at this church, I mean, this school, really are pretty much self-centered, and they need, to, they need to like their own goddamn videos. So here I am. Ten reasons why homosexual marriage is harmful and must be opposed. Number one is not marriage. Calling something marriage does not make it marriage. Marriage has always been convent between a man and a woman, which is by nature ordered towards the procreation, education of children, and the unity of well-beings and spouses. The promoters of same-sex marriage propose something entirely different. They propose the union between two men and two women. This denies the self-evident biological, physiological, and physiological differences between men and women which find their com complementary in marriage. It also denies the specific primary purpose of marriage, the the procreation of the human race and raising of children, Two entirely different things cannot be considered the same thing. First of all, it wasn't God who created marriage or even Christians. It was, I believe, some pope that created um, some pope created marriage. It had nothing to do with freaking God. And the purpose of marriage is to unite two people together. Or multiple people together in, into one big family. I mean, there are people out there who uh, marry more than one woman or marry more than one guy. I mean, I've seen a triple lesbian marriage in the Jerry Bring, excuse me, Jerry Springer show, and I find it to be hilarious. But at the same time, very erotic. You know, very erotic. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> oh, okay. It violates natural law. Marriage is not just any relationship between human beings. It's a relationship rooted in human nature and thus governed by natural law. Natural law, most elementary pers perspect, is that good is to be done and pursued and evil is to be avoided. By his natural reason, man can perceive what is morally good or bad for him. Thus, he can know the end of purpose and or purpose of each of his acts and how it's morally wrong to transform the means that help him accomplish an act into an act of purpose. Any situation which institutionalize the mention I'm sorry, I can't pronounce some big words, I'm very sorry, uh, of the purpose of the sexual act violates natural laws and the objective norm of morality. Being rooted into human nature, natural law is the universal and immutable it applies to entirely human race equality. It commands and forbids consistently everywhere and always. St. Paul taught in the Espital of the Romans that the natural law is inscribed on the heart of every man. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <coughs> Hold on, it's doing to me again. Okay. I'm assuming that these people are talking about 
nature in general. Uh, hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty darn sure that um, animals like goats, cats, dogs, uh, pretty much practice the act of homosexuality. I mean, what what's what's wrong with you know why is it they get a free pass and we don't? I mean, how different are we from animals exactly? Aside from, you know, all this shit. I mean, take away all this shit, and we be no different from from your average everyday animal. I don't see the evil in homosexuality because it does no harm. What evil does is it does harm, but homosexuality does no harm to any other people. So really this just this is just stupid. It always denies a child either either a father or mother. It is in the child's best interest that he be raised under the influence of his natural father and mother. This rule is confirmed by the evident difficulty faced by many children who are orphans or are raised by single parents, a relative, or a foster parent. I would like to see these um, statistics that, you know, uh, prove these guys right. Because, you know, I have a friend, you know, my, my friend name is Juan, Juan Marrero. Uh, his mother... Um, his mother is single, although he's currently dating, um, some, some guy. I don't know. I haven't seen my friend in years, but he was a, his mother was single and, uh, his father is barely there. Just barely. But, and his boyfriend, I mean, her boyfriend you know, it's just barely there as well. I mean, sometimes he's there and sometimes he isn't. Most of the time he isn't. But I don't see Quan, you know, getting frustrated over the fact that he has no father or, or his father lives in some place else. Me, personally, I think Quan is doing pretty much fine without a father. In fact, some people, you know, don't really need a father. They just need people around them that supports, that, you know, support their back. Just saying. It violates and promotes the homosexual lifestyle. In the name of family, same-sex marriage serves to validate not only such unions, but the whole homosexual lifestyle is all its bisexual and transgender variants. Civil laws are struggling principles of man's life in society as such. They are play a very important and sometimes decisive role in influencing patterns of thought and behavior. They are extremely shape of the life of society, but also profoundly modify everyone's perspective and evaluation of forms of behavior. Legal recognition of same-sex marriage would necessarily obscure certain basic moral values, devalue traditional marriage, and weaken public morality. No, it does not do, do anything of that. Okay, it doesn't, you know, obscure certain moralities. Um, it's a natural thing. Homosexuality is a natural thing. It's okay. It doesn't devalue traditional marriage because there's still going to be straight marriages. There will always be. And, you know, this is proven that, that uh, homosexuals are born gay. Links in the description. I, I don't have the video, but the link is in the description. Um, it doesn't devalue it because there will always be straight couples in Amer around the world. There's always going to be straight couples having two or three children. I mean, we have over what eight billion people living on this planet. That's a lot. I mean, we can lose a few million, but it's it, it's not not going to change anything and weaken public morality again it, it doesn't weaken public morality
It turns a moral wrong into a civil right. Homosexual activists argue the same-sex marriage is a civil right issue similar to struggle for racial equality in the 1960s. This is false. First of all, sexual behavior and race are essentially different rea rel realities. A man is a man and a woman wanting to be married may be different in their characteristics. One be black, the other be white, one rich, the other poor, one or one tail, the, I mean one tall, the other short. None of these differences are insurmountable obstacles to marriage. The two individuals are still men and women and thus the requirement of nature are respected. Same-sex marriages opposes nature. Two individuals of the same sex, regardless of their race, wealth, statute, evaluation, or fame, will never be able to marry because of an insurmountable biological impossibility. Second, secondly, inheriting and unchangeable racial traits cannot be compared with non-generic and changeable behavior. There is simply no analog analogy between the interracial marriage of a man and woman and the marriage between two individuals of the same sex. Again, I will repeat this. Links in the description. Watch the video. People are born freaking gay. And as for opposing nature, again, um, it's natural. Homosexuality is natural it's within freaking nature in order to, for something to be out of nature it must not exist within nature it, it would be completely unnatural for horses to all of a sudden start eating each other but you don't see horses eating each other no you don't see that <sighs> so therefore that's out of nature. Homosexuality has been practiced for many, 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 many years, and you just ignore all of that shit. It does not create a family, but a natural, naturally serial union. The traditional marriage is usually so fecund that those who would frustrate its end must do violate the, to nature to prevent the birth of children by using Concentrate. I'm sorry again. I can't pronounce some of the big words. It naturally tends to create families. On the contrary, same-sex marriages is intrinsically sterile. If the spouses want a child, they must circumvent nature by costly and artificial means or employ surrogates. The, nat the natural tendency of such union is not to create families, therefore we cannot call a same-sex ma same union marriage and give it the benefits of a true marriage. <sighs> Where do I begin? So, freaking what, they can't reproduce by having, um, having sex, so what? Um, I don't know I put this. <laughs> it's better to have two parents or even a parent than to be risen by no one. You have to defend yourself. You have to, um, you have no one to rely on. Hell, if I had, you know, no parents and instead I, um, you know, get raised by two guys that are not related by me by blood, I will still consider them my family, you know? People need to look out for each other. You don't even have to be married in order to have a family, you know? I'm just saying. <coughs> in fact, I consider any, you know, any of uh, my friends in real life that I'm really close to to be a part of my family because you know they play a very important role in my life they support me from from the good times to the bad times they have my back they're my best friend is part of my family even though he's not related by blood that's what I consider a family it defeats the state purpose of benefiting marriage 
One of the main reasons of why the state bestows numerous benefits on marriage is that by its very nature and design, marriage provides the normal conditions for a stable, affectionate, and moral atmosphere that is beneficial to the upbringing of children. All the fruits of, of the mutual affection of the parents, this aids in per perpetuating the nation and straighten straightening society and advance interests of the state. Homosexual marriage does not provide such conditions. Its primary purpose, objectively speaking, is the personal gratification of two individuals whose union is started out by nature, is not entitled, therefore, to the protection of the state extends to true marriage. All I have to say is, fuck you. Okay. It's still marriage, ladies and gentlemen. Your union, your union, excuse me, your Uniting two people that love each other very, very much into one big family. Uh, uh, uh. Who are you to decide what is a true marriage and what is not a true marriage? Hell, I, if some guy wants to get married to a horse, let him. You know, doesn't change my, it doesn't change my life. I don't give a flying fuck. It imposes it acceptance of all this. I mean, excuse me. It imposes all its acceptance on all society. By legalizing same-sex marriage, the state becomes its official and active promoter. The state calls on public officials to officiate at the new civil ceremony, order public schools to teach its acceptability to children, and punish any state employee who expresses disapproval. I wouldn't fire a guy for being homophobic, you know. I'm just saying, you know. It's kind of stupid that A&E had to suspend um, Phil Robinson for being a homophobic retard and then to bring him back in. They should have never suspended him in the first place because, you know, he has freedom of speech, you know. Just saying. To me, Phil Robinson is just another bigot. Moving on. In a private sphere... Objecting parents will see their children exposed more than ever in this new morality. Business offering wedding services will be forced to provide them for the same-sex unions. Um, WarCorp666 has made a video on this. Uh, I will find, provide another link in the description. Um, you know, this is a pri this is their private business. You know. I'm not supporting the, the, this, this, you know, I'm not supporting bashing gays, but you don't have to, um, how do I put this? Not buy the cake from that Pacific store. If you need to buy a cake, you can go to any store. It's just that simple. You can refuse, um, you can refuse to serve people for your own intentions. I mean, this is your private business. But it's your goddamn loss because uh, you're losing money. And you're making yourself look bad. Me, personally, I don't give a flying fuck on who am I serving. It could be a freaking Nazi. It could be Hitler, for all I care. As long as I'm getting paid to do my job, I don't give a flying fuck. And rental property owners will have to agree to accept same sex couples as tenants. Yeah. That part I have to agree with. I mean, I mean, I mean, not agree, but disagree with. I mean, what am I saying? Again, I'm not at 100%. My brain is being scrambled just by the idea of this shit. Ugh. It hurts a lot. Uh, okay. Again, if you're receiving money, then your morality shouldn't matter. Okay? You're being paid cash, money, to do what you do. In every situation where marriage affects society, state will accept, expect Christians and all of good people will to betray their cons consciences by condoning through silence or act an attack on the natural order and Christian morality. Once again, you have the right to speak out against homosexuality. You can 
express your opinions about homosexuality. But you will be greatly hated for opposing it because what you're saying right now is completely stupid. It's full of bigotry. Why do you think the WBC is hated so goddamn much? Speaking of the WBC, I was going to mention them um, earlier. Because, you know, this, this school reminds me of the WBC. They're full of crap. They're full of hatred, just like the WBC. In fact, I'm starting to think that these Christians right here, these, um, these, the, the people who go to this school are probably better Christians than, 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 um, than the WBC. And of course, they're probably true Christians as well. In my opinion, they're true Christians. And I know that some people might hate me for it, but if you're going to follow, every, you know, if you're going to quote from the Old Testament, hate homosexuality, you know what? That's the Bible. It's full of crap. So, I guess I have to, you know, now say that not only is the WBC the true Christians, but now the TFP student action pro this fucking college thing I mean freaking school <sighs> apparently are the true Christians just another group of bigots it is the cutting edge of a sexual revelation in the 1960s society was pressured to accept all kinds of immoral sexual relationships between men and women today we are seeing a new sexual revelation where society is being asked to accept sodomy and same-sex marriage if homosexual marriage is universally accepted as the parent step in sexual freedom, what logical arguments can be used to stop the next steps of incest, pedophilia, bestiality, and other forms of unnatural behavior? Um, I do find incest to be quite disgusting, you know, a little bit disgusting, but this is within their sexual freedom, so if they want to fuck, that's fine. As for pedophilia, most, um, I think children would, you know, um, this is an act of rape. You know, you're being forced to do something that you don't like. This is completely different. Homosexuality does this, you know, the homosexuals do this because they love one, one another. But pedophilia is completely different because in most cases, um, the child is being forced to have sex with a man or woman. That's the freaking case. <sighs> As for bestiality, again, this is just like homosexuality, but, you know, except for the part of the nature thing. But who am I to say that, you know, uh, I mean, I think people have practiced bestiality before throughout history, so I think it's okay for people to fuck goats, cats, dogs, just as long as you don't do it in public or in front of my face or try to get me into bestiality because I will never find a bear, a dog, a cat to be quite sexually pleasurable. It's, to me, I find bestiality to be disgusting, but... That's just me. You, you're into bestiality, that's fine. Just don't drag me into it. <sighs> Indeed, radical elements of certain avant grade or garde subcultures are already advocating such abbreviations. The railroad of same-sex marriage on American people, American people makes increasingly clear what homosexual activist Paul Varnell wrote in the Chicago Free Press. The gay movement, whether we acknowledge it or not, it's not a civil rights movement, not even a sexual liberation movement, but a moral revelation aimed of changing people's view of homosexuality. Even if that was the case, um, what's wrong with that, exactly? What, what is wrong? That's what I want to know. And number 10, and this was, my, this was my favorite, it offends God. This is the most important reason. Whenever one violates the natural moral orders established by God, one sins and offends God, same-sex marriage does just this. According to anyone who prefers to love God must be opposed to it. 
Oh, wait, 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 what? Let me read that again. This is the most... Uh, whenever one violates the natural or moral or established by God, one sins and offends God, same-sex marriage does just this. According, accordingly, anyone who professes to love God must be opposed to it. Now, I know Christians out there who love God, but they're gay as well. I don't see why you can't do both, exactly. Oh, wait, the, according to you, those people are not true Christians. Because, you know, they don't follow the Bible. <laughs> you know, um, from what I remember is that most of the Bible quotes that's against homosexuality is pretty much in the Old Testament. And if I'm not mistaken, um, aren't you guys supposed to follow the New Testament? Just saying. I, I'm very curious why you have to be so goddamn opposed to homosexuality, exactly. <laughs> I mean, using Bible quotes to oppose homosexuality, it's just stupid. I'm gonna make another video on, on that topic pretty darn soon. Marriage is not the creatures of any state. Rather, it's an establishment I'm established by God in paradise for our first parents, Adam and Eve. As we read in the book of Genesis, God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him, male and female. He created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Yeah, I guess you got a point there, you know. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, you got a point. The story of Adam and Eve, again, doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, we have over 8 billion people living on this planet. I think we can afford to lose a million people. The same was taught by our Savior, Jesus Christ. From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. Genesis also teaches how God punished Sodom and Gomorrah for the sin of homosexuality. The Lord rained down salubrious fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah. He overthrew Ceres and the whole plain together with the inhabitants of cities and produced the produce of the soil. Oh, okay. This is God we're freaking talking about. If God is willing to flood cities, to go on a freaking rampage, to um, for the for the idea that these two guys are having sex, they're expressing their love for one another. He's willing to kill a bunch of people for that action alone. Pretty much just shows that God is an immature baby, a big fat baby. This, this is this is stupid. This is incredibly dumb. Oh, oh, God! If God has such a big freaking problem with homosexuality, then why the fuck did he make you know a few people on this planet sexually attracted to the same freaking gender? It makes no freaking sense. I mean, this is an all-knowing all-powerful being and he should have seen this shit coming as soon as he created Adam and Eve if he didn't want Adam and Eve to eat the apple then he would have created some sort of brick wall and if he really has a problem with the idea of homosexuality he would never create people to be homosexual in the first place and don't give me the crap that, again, that homosexuality is a choice because it's not a choice. Link, description, go look at it. I am done. I, I'm done. So, please spread this video around. Please um, show this to your friends. Show how stupid these people are. Go to their YouTube channel. Dislike that one video right there. You know, with your heart content. Because these people are full of bigots. 
Oh, oh, oh. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out.